back to Beanie's Hobbies. And this is sort of a follow-up video of this Corelli CR10 Max. Now I've had this up and running for a few weeks, done some test prints, uh, checked to see if there's any issues. I haven't had any major issues, I've had a couple of niggly little problems, but we'll go over them shortly. Um, we're going to take a quick look at all the test prints. So this is not going to be a massively long video, so more of a, more of a follow up for you guys. So let's start off by checking out some of the test prints. Alright, so we have a plethora. So these first four that we have printed here, these are on the card. These are actually on the um, SD card itself. Now this is printed in sort of a straw PLA and it is incredibly smooth. Then we had Piggy Money Bank. And we had the cat has actually, if I can get my camera to focus closer up, has come out incredibly well. And then last of all on the card we had the elephant. Which also came out very very clean classes as an immaculate print okay so then next up this is quite a larger print we had He-Man the detailing on this shield this was printed support free, so no supports at all were used in the printing of this. And he's come out absolutely flawless. Must admit this is one of the best quality printers I've ever had for detailing. And he's just so smooth. You can see all the muscles incredibly detailed print and next up we had Ultron yet again he was printed support free and as you can see towards the top I actually ran out of filament <laughs> so we had to change but even the printer handled that absolutely fine you know there's no unsightly joins it's just it's just a straight plain smooth transition from one filament to the other so he has come out incredibly well and then last up we printed this beastie which is obviously Deadpool bust fair size yet again Printed support free, came out incredibly well. Yet again, I ran out of filament. <laughs> and yet again, the transition between the two filaments, smooth, solid, hasn't fallen apart. The detailing on this thing is absolutely second to none. But obviously this printer is not without its faults. Now the first issue that I happen to mention in the unboxing was to do with obviously this tubing that holds the Bowden tube and the cables. Now I have slightly modified it, a uh, five minute fix, little piece of wooden dowel inside the tube, zip tie, holds it in place stops it sagging on the bed. Now the other issue that I've had with this printer you might be able to see right here 
is this build platform. Now it's incredibly, incredibly sticky to the extent where I couldn't get the prints off. Um, obviously I removed the build plate off of the bed and I had to resort at one point to using a scraper and a mallet to actually get it off because I could not for the life of me get it to release off the build plate and as you can see here I've managed to take a little bit of this sort of build tack surface off of the aluminium that's underneath um, and now finding replacement parts for build plates for this machine is an absolute nightmare. I have managed to source one and it has been dispatched so they're not relative, relatively, of, relatively available on Crowley's website, they're just not on there at all so I had to search around the net and like I said I did eventually come across one so that is one thing to keep in mind if you're going to get one of these printers getting replacement build plates especially over here in the UK is an absolute mission but apart from that the only one other thing is the fan on the control board is incredibly noisy apart from that everything else is whisper quiet but this fan that's down in this board is is so loud it is it will drive you nuts I mean this print is obviously not for everybody because of the sheer size of it, I had to resort to printing on the floor with it because none of my spaces that I've got here currently at the moment are actually wide enough to accommodate this thing. Because what you have to obviously keep in mind is when you're printing, obviously your build plate is going to go back a quite a long way. So you need a ton of space for this printer. I mean, it's not obviously for everybody. I mean, unless you're planning on printing things that are absolutely massive, then there's absolutely no point in buying this machine at all whatsoever. You'd be better off with a CR10 because obviously at the end of the day, this thing isn't cheap. It's quite an expensive printer. I mean, I managed to get this thing for an absolute steal. That's the only reason I bought it. If not, I would have never bought it at full price. But I'm glad I did buy it. It's a good printer. It's one that I'll keep for a while now. Um, obviously I'm not going to be using it at the moment because I just haven't got the space here to run it. Um, so that is something you need to keep in mind. Obviously one is the cost and two is how much space is actually required for this thing. Um, I can just get a tape. I mean floor size, well, well size wise we have got from front to back. We are looking at, let's have a look here. It's near enough. Uh, 80 centimeters long width wise we're looking around the what we've got here it's nearly 60 centimeters wide and obviously when your bill plate is fully back in its back position you're then looking at a length total length of about a meter so you you, you know it is absolutely huge. The, the amount of space required to run this printer is, is madness. So for that sort of reason, I wouldn't recommend you go out and buy this unless you actually need to print something that's massive because it will take up so much room. I just can't see the point of it. Plus the fact you, if you're printing things this sort of size, the amount of filament you're going to be getting through, you know, is is going to be astronomical. So unless you need to print things this big, then yes, this printer is for you. If you don't need to print things that big, you know, I wouldn't bother with it because it's just, it just takes up too much space. You know, you could get two CR10s in the same space that this thing is long. So wouldn't consider this printer unless you have, you know, big prints in mind that you must print and you can't live without if not I, I just wouldn't bother with it because it's just too big but print quality wise is second to none absolutely fantastic um, obviously you've got your auto bed leveling you have got your touch screen so you've got your filament detection oh, you've got your dual z you have got everything on this printer that you need but it is just massive so for that reason guys i wouldn't recommend you getting this machine like i said million times unless you actually have a have a need to print things that big 
So guys, that are my thoughts on this printer. Brilliant print quality. Takes up far too much space. Fan's a bit noisy. Getting things off the bed is, is absolutely impossible. And finding replacement parts, like for the bed, etc., is uh, quite hard. So, not one I'd recommend, guys. Anyway, I hope you found this of some use. If you do, leave me a thumbs up. Uh, we're nearly at a thousand subscribers. I would really appreciate it, guys, if you could just subscribe to my channel. Um, that's it if you like the content, of course. Be nice to actually try and build a channel a bit further because obviously at the moment I'm having to buy and sell what printers I have so obviously I can get more in to review and yeah and as we all know you know some of these printers aren't cheap so yeah please guys subscribe if you can and I'll catch you all in the next one cheerio